one, and here I'm with another LEGO Star Wars 20th Anniversary review. And this one is on the Clone Scout Walker 20th Anniversary Edition. So on the front of the box, you can see LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, with that all-around border, which we haven't seen since 2004 and 5, of course. And then picture of everything in action, and all the main, main things include with it. And set number, or I mean, age recommendation is six and up set number is seven five two six one and has 250 pieces and has 20th anniversary logo there very very cool and also add for the collectible darth vader minifig footage which kind of suiting for the film this is based upon episode three and yeah and on the back of which advertising all the features of it and how darth vader contributes to the 20th anniversary minifig collection and uh, for the original version from 2005, which when episode 3 came out, and yeah. And now to the booklet. Same picture as on the front and everything. Also, a little write up about the 20th anniversary. Pause if you like to read. The short little comparison of both this and the original 2005 version. Uh, showing the collectible Darth Vader with this, and also each of the collectible minifigs, including every, each set with a nice background of Kashyyyk. And then a little thing about Battle of Kashyyyk in Episode 3. And then after Lego Life and on the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces included with the set. Add for the action battle sets, add for all the minifigs, include with this current wave, add for Lego Life, and then last building steps. Now, on to the minifig selection of what. First of all, we get the 20th anniversary Darth Vader. This torso printing, just perfect. Perfect homage to the, or perfect to the original versions from '99 and until 2004 or five or so, where it was just those prequels until they added more to it. And just like the 20th anniversary Luke Skywalker set that, or that came with the Pod Racer set, is not at all a chrome lightsaber. Instead, just regular silver one. Which, and of course, they do, don't do chrome anymore. Kind of weird. But, of course. And helmet of which, same as it's always been until the 2015 version. But nice that they brought it back for just for this one. And you can see the helmet of which, just about the same as it's always been until 2014. And the, to the back of which, the although the cape piece of which, it does feel somewhat the same as the older ones, but instead of being a regular cloth material. But I, maybe they did it just for this, as well as the Lando Calrissian one coming soon. That was easy. And underneath is the 20 years logo, of course. And that. Also, do you get this little base that says 20 years and Darth Vader's name on it? You can up put him on it and can attach it to that of another one of it and get a whole row of it. And move on. We also get a battle joy, a battle joy, just a single battle joy. Would have been nicer if there was a battle, or wish it could have been the updated uh, Kashyyyk battle joy that came in the ATDP set from earlier this year. But besides that, just the same as it's ever been since 1999. But good for the anniversary and all, but also nice to get many as possible for army building. And, yeah. And then next up is the Kashyyyk Trooper, uh, which is kind of the same as in the uh, uh, ATDP set from earlier this year, as well as in a couple of previous years. 
like helmet the same, but and the back print of which also kind of the same, but underneath of which annoying angry clone face. But it can it's livable for the Clone Wars era. You got the small blaster there, and uh, but also same like kind of the ATD set version. Other than the 2014 version, and yeah. then last but not least, is a Wookie Warrior. Although the print of which kind of the same as the Chewbacca ones, it's just everything like that. But in choice of weapon, a musket, which I kind of don't understand, but probably kind of suiting to the life of the Wookies. On the cheek, the yeah, that is about it. So on to the builds, the main builds of this set. Like, uh, first of all, I'll get this little turret for. Oh, hang on, this little turret for the Wookie Warrior, which is. A whole ton of those like uh, jagged pieces, but <coughs> sorry, but in black. <coughs> sorry. And also, good use of the Exo Force arm to hold the gun in it. You can just put it in on your warrior on there, and you can guard it. So. And that is it there. And next up for the builds is. Also get a little spider droid. Oh, so you like the rotating part on it? It's kind of similar to the one used in the uh, homing spider droid set from 2015. But however, it also does have the like uh, clear uh, cylinder piece, which I don't think was present on that version. But besides that, nice design to it. Like, good use of the battle droid pe leg or body pieces as legs. And of course, the turret in the front can go all around. And also, good use of the old style phone piece to hold studs for eyes. But yeah. But I guess that is it with that. And last but not least, is the Clone Scout Walker itself. A pretty good build, kind of, although just about similar to the ATRT whatever walker from 2013. Uh, well, kind of the same stuff, like they just recolored it, but and yeah. So the feet of which also the same as that one, but do get get plenty of sand green pieces in this set, like good use of the slope pieces and those other pieces there, but on the other links of which which are of course on clickety joint or ratchet joints and get some more tam pieces on there and a lot of the dis dish pieces all over it also like the 2013 one and some loose technic pieces there also like that version not sure why but whatever also does not rotate like that one But in the front bar or front area, you do get some like slopes and like odd plates there, all along with ones in sand green color, in the sand green, which is pretty neat. In the front area, of which all stickers, but at least they're nice stickers. And the good thing, don't get very many stickers in this set, of which is pretty cool. And also, in that seat for the front shooter, which does have a stud shooter and also the so one of the like rock pieces there. Or in the seat area, which is where it's enough space to sit your scout trooper or Kashyyyk trooper onto it, at of course. And a couple of different size antennas, also like the 2013 one. But however, but in, with the like 
rounded plate piece to hold them in, which good use of pieces. And those and that and of course do have those acting as either greeples or vents or whatever the yeah. So now, on to the final verdict. So my overall verdict is, I think this is which a pretty cool set for its price point and everything. Like, although, do wish there could, the battle droid could have been the update Kashyyyk battle droid, so this would be a cheaper alternative to it, but at least that's livable. Uh, and also, and of course, do also get the 20th anniversary Vader as suiting to the film of it. And if you're making a large Kashyyyk mock and want to get something to add to it, and go ahead and pick this up. And if you're looking to get this for your 20th anniversary complete collection, then go ahead and pick it up as well. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.